Hi everyone, my name is Ian McCall, former mixed martial arts world champion. It's a brutal sport that had me push my mind and my body to the most intense place possible. Since retiring, I've directed my focus and energy on healing and health. My journey led me to psilocybin. I want to show you guys just how magic these mushrooms truly are. So I'm bringing it to you straight from the source, some fungus facts and mushroom tips. The effects of psilocybin are more apparent with a museum dose than with a mini dose. But a museum dose still won't give you a full psychedelic experience. The name museum dose refers to the fact that on this dose, you can still participate in public activities, such as viewing a painting in a museum without attracting attention. Common effects include mood enhancement, euphoria or excitement, mild to moderate visuals, increased empathy, conversational fluidity, introspection, increased flow states, enhanced senses, enhanced appreciation for music, art, etc., increased creativity, amplification of mood, positive or negative, altered perception of sound, time dilation or contraction, increased sensitivity to light, pupil dilation, difficulty focusing or thought loops, difficulty or discomfort socializing, frustration at dosage. The no man's play. Thanks, my fungus front man. Listen to the bass go shrew. Hey everyone, Uncle Creeper here again. Back with a batch of truth for the breakdown. The breakdown. The museum dose is a psychedelic experience with handlebars. You know, you're still in control. It's a trip but only going walking distance. My tip is this, take the museum dose name literally and go hit a museum. No joke, you'll thank me. Let's get healthy, happy, and stay that way. See you soon.